welcome back to Gorman. Another great year. Join me in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. AP Scholars are super cool! Mary will catch up with AP Scholar Cassidy Fender right now. I'm here with AP Scholar Cassidy Fender. So please explain to us what is an AP Scholar? So an AP Scholar is an award given out to students who pass through more AP exams by the College Board. And what AP exams did you pass? I passed Biology, English, Language and Composition, and Spanish Language and Culture. Oh, good job. And what is the benefit of taking AP courses? So if you pass an AP course um, with a 3, 4, or 5, some colleges actually allow you to um, skip that class in your freshman year. So you have less of the general courses to take once you get into college. The task for Hurricane Harvey is placed on southern parts of Texas. Bishop Gorman is doing their part to help those in need. Mary Long gets a word with Case and Salator about what our school is doing to help. So today we are currently gathering and organizing all the relief supplies that Gorman families have given us to take to Houston and the surrounding towns so we can uh, support the relief effort and help all those guys down there. So we're praying for all y'all down there. Hope it gets better. We've really been working hard this year. Uh, we've already improved a lot since the beginning of the year. And the band is playing at all the football games, so make sure to show your support. Fall sports teams are underway. Our reporter, Luke Miller, catches up with Coach McFarland and some fall athletes. Coach McFarland, how is the preparation this week going for White Oak for your team? Hey, White Oak is a... Uh big challenge for us. A bigger school, lots of kids in the program. Uh, our kids are very excited about playing White Oak. They will come in here with lots of fans and a very huge band and fill our stadium up. It's a big week. Second week of the year is always a big week. We look for improvement from our players, increase intensity, raise the level up a little bit. And uh, But we're excited to have a, another home game. And this happens to be the White Oak what, Roughnecks coming in. All right, thank you, Coach. Jake, last year for you, White Oak was your first game back from not playing in the first game against Garrison because of a knee injury, and you had a great game finishing with 513 passing yards, four touchdowns, and one interception. How have you improved yourself this year for facing this defense again and hoping to get another chance at beating them? Well, this year we've watched a ton of film. Uh, the Roughnecks always bring a good defense out, but we think we have ways to you know, beat them, get around them. Uh, we're analyzing, you know, the gaps that we can find in our new offense and uh, the formations that will confuse them. And uh, we have a good game plan for them, and we're ready for them. And I have a year of experience under my belt. And we have some weapons coming back. Uh, last year against White Oak, Daniel caught all four touchdowns, and he's coming back. And uh, Tyler's back. Isaiah's back. Uh, have a great O-line, a great running back. We have a great team all around this year, and we're excited to see what we can do against the Roughnecks and bring home a win. All right, thank you, Jake. Anthony, tell us about the meet this weekend and what we should be expected to see from the cross-country team this season. The meet this weekend is at UT Tyler, which is a big meet for the cross-country team as a whole as it prepares us for district and state. 
And the team this year is going to be one of the best we've had in a while as we have upcoming runners and we're all really prepared.